in today's class, along with our regularly scheduled abs, glutes, hamstrings, we're going to be focusing more on rotation, primarily internal rotation, because most of our classes have external rotation just naturally built into them. But internal rotation is something that we definitely deprioritize and is a very important aspect of our structure and of our mobility that we need to keep working on. We're also going to do more upper body strengthening today in um, alignment and posture in order to build up our arms and back in a healthy and sustainable way. With that being said, find a comfortable seat on your mat. Feeling your sits bones rooting down, you can pick up the flesh from your glutes and move them to the side in order to feel more grounded and rooted on those sits bones into the mat. Legs can be crossed or out in front of you, whatever feels best in your hips and in your body today, which may be different from yesterday. Finding yourself rooted, go ahead and just begin to sense your breath, inhaling through your nose. Widening your ribs side to side and then exhaling and letting the chest soften, the ribs coming closer together. Feel free to flutter your eyes closed or gaze down in order to limit some of the stimulus coming in. Inhaling through your nose and exhale through your mouth, just bringing yourself into the space for the day. Again, inhaling through the nose. Ribs wide, chest expands, and exhale. This time, inhaling into your ribs, but also lifting your shoulders up towards your ears. Inhale. Everything lifts up. Hold at the top. And exhale, sliding your scapula down your back. Inhale. Through the nose, lift, 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 lift. Shoulders to ears, and exhale. Letting them glide down the back. Two more breaths, inhale through the nose, shoulders lift high, hold here. And now on your exhale, release everything, let your shoulders drop away from your ears, exhale. Shoulders drop, feel a little wobble through the head. Last breath, in, shoulders up, 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 up. And exhale, release, let them go. See how your head wants to shake a little bit side to side. Opening your eyes. Letting the light come in, taking in the surroundings, and lift your arms out to the side, flipping your palms up towards the ceiling, and then flipping them down. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling, see how this affects the engagement in the front of your chest, even slightly, and then flip them back down towards the ground. See how that begins to activate more in your back. One more time, flipping palms up towards the ceiling, feeling the chest activate and then flipping down towards the ground. Chest turns off a little bit, back turns on. Inhale wide. On your exhale, tipping over to the right side, fingers find the mat, elbow reaches for the ground, left side waist expands. Bringing your left arm up and over your ear. Inhale. And exhale, softening the ribs. Inhale, reaching those fingertips long to come back up to your seat. And exhale, tip over to the other side. Left fingertips reaching for the ground. Left elbow bends. Right arm comes long up and over the head. Inhale here. And as you inhale, feel your right hip reaching down towards the ground as your right fingertips reach in the opposite direction. And exhale, let everything go. Inhale, reaching up and over, long through the spine. And we add on, exhale, tipping over to the right, right elbow bends, left waist lengthens, inhale, and on your exhale, turn your chest to face your knee, reach your left fingertips on the diagonal, inhale, undo that, turning your chest to face the front, and exhale, hollow out your belly, turn your chest to your knees, stretching through that left side. One more like that, inhale. Rotate to the front, and exhale, twisting, inhaling one more time to face the front, and on your exhale now, reaching your left fingertips up and over, arcing to center. Inhale at the top, and exhale, tilting over to the side, right arm over your head, inhale here, and 
exhale, softening your chest, turning to face the knee. Inhale, rotating back to center. And exhale, feeling the twist coming from the middle of your spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, last one, turning to your chest to chin. Inhale, undo that. And on your exhale, reaching your arm up and over, coming to a long, tall seat. Bring your hands onto your knees. Go ahead and exhale and hollow out your belly, curving your chest and chin forward. Then inhale, puff your chest out, reach your chest towards the ceiling, pull your arms against your knees. Exhale, hollow out, tilting back off your pelvis. And inhale, activating the arms, pulling against your knees to lift your chest, expanding. Exhale, back. And inhale, forward. One more time like this, closing off the front of your throat as you curl back, and then pulling and expanding in the front of your throat as your chest reaches up towards the ceiling. Now we'll take it in a circle, tilting over to the left, rotating through the back, over to the right side, and then puffing out your chest, pulling your elbows back as you come through center, over to the left, allowing your head and neck to be involved. Keep going like this, feeling your weight shift off of one sits bone to the other, passing through center, and then coming back to root on those sits bones one more time to the left. And through center, reverse that, over to the right, hollowing out through your chest, puffing out as you come to the center, rolling back, allowing your head and neck to be involved. Three more times, keep going with that. Okay, good, checking the connectivity. We had a moment where we paused. Last time, over to the side, through center, and release that. Bring your left leg up, we'll make our way into a quadruped. Coming onto all fours, checking that your shoulders are stacked over your elbows, your hips are stacked over your knees, your toes are untucked, and your neck is floating and mobile. Taking a soft bend in those elbows, making sure not to hyperextend. Go ahead and inhale into your ribs, and then on your exhale, draw your navel to spine, and go ahead and check on that ab activation, making sure that the low back isn't dumping. We're in one long line, head to tail. From here, we send our left leg out long, tucking those toes, extending through the left heel. And then with the activation of the abs, go ahead and float your right knee off, so we're in a plank. And without spending too much time here, lower your left knee down again, and your right knee. We're just testing out our activation, our engagement of our abs, sending your right leg back, Full body motion, left leg back, right knee bends, and left knee bends. Again, left leg extends, pressing into all points connected into the ground. Right leg extends, left knee bends, and right knee bends. Last one, sending the right leg out. And now we'll send the left leg out and we'll hold here. We're going to take a 30 second plank starting now. Thinking more about the distribution of weight over your palms and over your feet, your head is floating, elbows are puffed out, expanding up through the chest. And if this begins to get a little tiring or you feel your mind starting to become a bit overactive, thinking about how much time we have left, just begin to shift your weight slightly back and forth over your palms and then back over your heels. This is a great distraction. And then before you know it, 30 seconds, is over, lowering your left knee down, your right knee down, sitting your hips back, opening your knees wide, child pose, letting your chest fall in between your shoulders. Inhale, expand through the back, exhale, soften. Coming back onto quadruped, finding that comfortable place, stacked. Send your left leg out as we did before. Rooting through those toes, lengthening through the left heel. Abs up and in, extend your right arm out, hovering by your ear. From here, grounding through your left hand and right knee, kick on the glutes and lift that left leg up in line with the rest of your body. Right away from here, we're going to pitch forward, 
reaching our right arm down towards the ground, feeling this diagonal through our body, and then back up and left foot reaches for the floor. Up and over, arcing through the center, right hand to the ground, and then lifting up through the right arm as the left foot finds the floor. Two more, forward and back, allowing your spine to be involved, negotiating the balance of weight, last one between your left hand and your right knee, left leg touches down, lifts back up, and then gradually replace those limbs back onto the floor. Wiggle out whatever you need to do, and we switch sides. Grounding through that left hand, kick your right leg back, flexing through the feet, abs are up and in, left arm floats off, give a little wiggle through your head and neck, make sure they're easy and floating. Kicking on the right glutes, lift the right leg up. Check in on your elbow, it's hyperextended. Shifting forward, left fingertips reach for the ground, and then pitching back on the opposite diagonal, right foot finds the ground. Repeating this forward, picking up in the abs as you pitch back, allowing your spine to be involved, soft bend through the elbow, making sure not to dump into your low back. Two more, forward, and back. Last one, forward, and back, and neutral, lowering one limb at a time. Turn your palms the opposite direction, so fingers face in towards you. We'll get a little wrist stretch, forearm stretch. This is a really important one to get at, especially as we're typing and texting. From here, with your wrist turned in, go ahead and take a little cat-cow, easy, 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 through the navel and back. One more, ballooning through the body, and softening. Carefully undo your hands, and find your way back into quadruped. Last series like this, kicking your left leg back, right arm extends by the ear, left leg lifts. Now, our arm and leg are going to go out to the side. We're trying to keep our hips level as much as possible, but this is really about using the glutes. And then exhale, bring everything back to neutral. Inhale, right arm out to the side, left leg kicks forward, and exhale, pulling back to center. Keep on going like this to the side. See if you can arrive simultaneously, and arrive simultaneously as you come back to center. Two more. Inhale to the side, and exhale. This is not about how high the leg is, but about articulation and isolation of this crossbody action. Back to neutral, lower one limb at a time. Those are tricky. Let's go right away into the second side. Breathing. Kicking your right leg back, left arm up by the ear. Evening out your weight, kick the right leg up, engage those glutes. Inhale, send the limbs out to the sides. And exhale, zip everything back in together, flexing through that right foot. Inhale. Exhale, arrive at the same time. Inhale out, exhale, come back together. Oh, you can hear the quiver in my voice. Inhale, and back. Last time, inhale, and exhale. One limb lowers, then the other limb lowers. Sit back on your heels, go ahead and wiggle your neck out. Take a little head circle over in one direction and the other. And back onto hands and knees. We're almost out of this position. Our last exercise here is going to be serratus work. So in order to engage your serratus, these muscles in the back around the scapula, we're going to lower our chest down in between our shoulders without affecting our head and neck. So it's as if somebody just pressed down on the top of our back and then we press into our straight arms and inhale, lift back up through that sternum. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up and inflate. This is really isolating the scapula and the upper back. So as you lower, you're squeezing your scapula together. And as you lift, you're widening them apart. Great. Now you can either stay in your downward dog or you can walk out to plank to increase this challenge, or from plank, you can always lower your knees 
and find yourself in this middle ground. So in any of those positions, we'll connect into our core, balloon out through our scapula, and then keeping our arms straight and our head and neck in line, we lower our sternum down in between our shoulders, and then press into your hands and expand through the back. Lowering down, we have eight like this, and lifting up. This should really feel powerful and strong in those upper back muscles, squeezing your scapula together, pressing up five more. Feel free to change your variation as we continue the exercise. Three, lift, two, lift, and one, and lift. Lower one knee down at a time. Sit back, crossing your legs, coming onto your seat, scooching forward to the center of your mat, <clears throat> planting your feet down out in front of you. Let this be a fairly wide leg open stance. If keeping your legs parallel is uncomfortable for your pelvis, if you feel like you can't really sit up on those sits bones, then go ahead and widen your knees out to the side. You may find that, that gives you more space to really move your pelvis forward and keep your spine stacked. Now really using our arms for this exercise, go ahead and take a hold of your hamstrings. Let your neck be easy. We're arching our spine up towards the ceiling. So pressing your hands into your legs, making space in your vertebra. Inhale as you arch back, bring your sternum up towards the sky. And exhale, pulling yourself back to center with your arms. So this should really feel like an expansive exercise through your spine, inhaling back. There should be no compression. That's why I invite you to really use your arms to pull you back to center on the exhale. Two more like this. Inhale, lifting up, 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 arching back from the top of the head as far as you like. And exhale, pulling forward. Last time, inhale, back. And exhale, pull forward. And reach your fingers towards your toes, curl forward, reverse that spine motion. And then find yourself back on your seat, walk your feet in a little bit closer, grab behind your legs again, and then roll back one vertebra at a time. Checking in on that neck, keep it relaxed. Until you're all the way back on your back, and then go ahead and scoop down if you need to, if you wiggled off your mat. Walking your feet in, again, to our neutral stance. Keeping a neutral pelvis, we have some glute bridges. Arms by your side, planting into your feet, shoulders rolling back and down. Inhale wide. And on your exhale, press into your feet and lift your hips straight up. So we aren't articulating, we're just lifting our hips straight up towards the ceiling. Now, lower them down halfway, so they're never going to touch back down the mat until the end of the exercise. And squeeze your glutes, lift them back up. And lower down. And lift back up and lower down. This is our exercise. So your glutes are kicking you up, and then you're releasing them sitting back into a chair. Abs are engaged the entire time. We have five more. Lower, four, and three, and two, and one, and lower all the way down. Now walk your feet out to the outer edges of your mat. Knees are going to find themselves in an easy, slightly rotated out position, like a small second position. You're going to flex your feet hard, pressing into the bones of the heel. And we take the same exercise, inhaling to prepare. And on the exhale, pressing into the heels and lifting the abs up, working those outside hamstrings and outside of the glutes, lifting up and lowering down. Lifting up and lowering halfway. You're just hovering off the mat. Up and up. Keep those feet flexed. I know it's tempting to want to lower the feet down, but this really increases the exercise. Four, the intensity of the activation. Three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Now to complete this series, keeping your feet the distance that they are, go ahead 
and rotate your knees, hips, and toes in towards each other. Your knees should knock in and be touching. If not, that's fine, as long as this is comfortable for you. But we're practicing this internal rotation, pitching in towards the center. Same idea, hands by your side, inhaling, pressing into all five metatarsals of the feet, exhale, lift those hips up. You'll feel like your range is restricted, for some of us, if this is not our natural place to be standing or living, and that's okay, just work within your range. Exhale, lower, and lift, and lower. Squeezing those inner thighs together, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, for five, and four, as we're in, three, two, one, and lower. Release that windshield wiper, your legs from side to side. Rolling onto one side of the pelvis, then back through center into the other. And then find your feet back planted on the mat, knees lifted up towards the ceiling. We're going into our ab series. Interlace your hands behind your head, letting your head fall heavy back into the palms. Inhale wide. Exhale, lifting your legs up to tabletop. Maintaining your neutral spine or imprinting by lowering the low back onto the mat and tucking the pelvis, whichever suits you. Inhale here, and on your next exhale, curl your chin to chest, bringing your scapula off of the mat. Keep pressing your head back into your hands, and now we take our single leg stretch, lifting our left leg out and back through center. Right leg extends and back through center and left, and center, and right, and center. Now let's speed it up. We have left, and right, switching sooner, and right, and left. Three more sets, left, and right. Exhale, curl up deeper. Last one, left, and right. Knees in towards your chest. Lower the upper body back down. So you can keep your legs in tabletop. This will increase the adductor work. Inhale. Exhale. Prepare for the next exercise. Curling up and forward. Scapula off of the mat. Go ahead and take your hands behind your legs. Grabbing onto those hamstrings. Neck is easy. Abs are in. Inhale. Everything out on the low diagonal. Legs and arms. Exhale. Curl up even further. Inhale. Out. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, widen and deepen. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Lower your upper body, head and neck. Squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Oh. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Legs back up to tabletop. Hands interlace behind the head. Shoulders are plugged back. Inner thighs squeezing together. Inhale. Exhale, curling up and forward, extending your legs up towards the ceiling. From here, scissors. Lowering your left leg down onto the low diagonal. And then switching, crossing the legs to lift the opposite leg back up. And lower and lift. The lower... You pass the legs by each other, the more challenging it is. Keep your elbows wide. And lift. And lift the other leg. And switch. Two more. Switch. And switch. And both legs up. Knees bent. Lower down. Release the low legs, just let them sort of kick towards your glutes. Last exercise, legs back up to tabletop. Inhale for bicycle. Exhale, soften and curl forward. Extending the right leg, twist over towards your left, reaching that armpit for that left knee. Coming back through center and switching over to the opposite side. And we switch for one. And switch. And switch. And switch. Five more. Exhale and curl up even farther. Four. And three. And 
two, really twisting those obliques. Last one, and into center, hug your knees and hug your chest. Let your knees open up to the side, grab onto the lower leg, begin at the top of the lower leg and let your legs fall away from your hands. This can also act as a bit of a traction through the spine, heavying the pelvis down to the mat. And pulling the legs back into center, planting the feet down, extending the arms up and over your head. We take roll over. Today I'm going to show you how to do roll over with your arms behind your head, which puts a little more weight towards where your feet are going and assists in the exercise. You are also welcome to do this exercise with your hands by your side, which makes it a bit more challenging. I'll show you both, but we'll start with it over our heads. Inhale to prepare, lifting the legs up towards the ceiling. Exhale here. On your next inhale, lower your legs to 45 degrees, squeezing the inner thighs together. On your exhale, hollow out the belly, send your hips up high, feet roll up and over the head. Flex through the feet, widen about a foot, and then on your next exhale, hollow out through the chest, rolling down to the mat one vertebra at a time. Imagining your spine is a string of pearls, reach your arms away from your legs to control that landing. Legs stay wide, lower down to 45 degrees. We repeat. Exhale, lifting up and over, hips high. Squeeze your inner thighs together, reversing the leg pattern. And exhale, soften to the chest, keeping the front of your throat soft, back of your neck long. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen with control, lower down. I'll show you the opposite version now. Inhale. And exhale, pressing into your hands, lifting up and over. It's easier this way initially, but then it becomes harder. Flex through your feet, widen, and then soften as you exhale. One vertebrae at a time, lengthening through the back of the neck, keeping the shoulders wide, and lowering to 45 degrees. Last time, exhale. Legs are wide, feet are flexed. Squeeze inner thighs together, point through the toes, and exhale with control. Take your time. Abs should be burning, 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 burning. Inhale, down 45 degrees. Exhale, kicking up and over your head. And then lowering one leg to the ground at a time, finding yourself in a plow. Feel free to bend your knees to the outside of your ears if you like here. We'll stay for one breath. And exhale. If you're still comfortable here, go ahead and take your hands onto your low back. Soften your knees, and then shift your weight over into the right hip. Tipping your weight over, feet will glide over to the right side. And now my right elbow and hand are supporting the weight of my lower body. I'm going to extend my left arm out long. You should feel a nice stretch to that left shoulder, upper back. Replace that hand. Walk your feet back through center. And shift to the other side. Left hand and arm take the weight of the lower legs. Stretching through that right side, that right QL, reach your right arm long. Inhale. And exhale, walking back to center. Sending your arms up and over your head, along the ground, roll through your spine, one vertebra at a time. Bending your knees in, feet find the mat, extend the legs long. Now from here, stretch everything in opposite directions. Hands away from feet, feet away from hands. Shoulders up to the ears. And let it go. One more like that. Stretch, stretch, stretch everything away from each other. And exhale, release. Two roll-ups for good measure. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, nod your chin to chest, pressing the backs of your legs into the ground. Notice if maybe this is getting easier if you've been doing it all week. Inhale on your next exhale, hollow out the belly. Shoulders are driving down the back. Feet are flexed. Take your time, take your time, take your time. And one more, inhale. And exhale, chin to chest. Keep motion in the body. I wanna turn off that engine, you have to restart it. Reach, 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 inhale. And exhale, last one, hollowing out the back. Scoop, scoop, scoop out the abs. Oops, my mat's coming with me. And arms 
arms up over your head all the way. Press into your right foot, bending that knee and bringing your right foot down onto the mat. And then roll over onto your left side. Left arm is long, bending your knees in. Go ahead and this time bring your knees on a slight diagonal towards the edge of your mat. So we actually are hiking our hips about 45 degrees backwards. So our knees are on a slight diagonal in front. <clears throat> Laying on your left arm. Sometimes this position is okay for glute work, but for this next exercise, I actually want everyone to have their head rested on their upper arm because we're going to do, be doing a little passive neck work while we're activating our glutes and our arm. Your, your glutes, oh dear. Your um, side waist, I'm sorry, glutes come later. Reach your right arm up and over your head and slide your right fingertips underneath your head so you can actually be holding onto that left ear. Again, checking in on that neck, make sure that the head is released. Inhale, wide into your ribs. On your exhale, keeping that side waist long as much as you can, lift your head up using that right arm. So your head should be very passive. I'm lifting up my head with my right arm. And lower that down. As you lower, think about lengthening longer than you started. Exhale. Tilting the head up with that right arm. Letting your head fall heavy back into that hand. And lowering down. This might also feel like a nice stretch in the side of your neck. Two more. Exhale. Lift, 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 lift. If your sideways starts to shorten here, that's all right. We just want to keep an image of a long sideways in mind the whole time. Last one. Exhale. Lifting up. And lowering down with control. Now we know how heavy our head is, right? Leaving your hand here or putting it in front of you if you like. We take our right leg into internal rotation, so keeping our waist long, our hip dropped. We're going to lift our lower leg up, squeezing our knees together, and it may not go very high. I have very limited internal rotation on my right side, so that's about all I have, and then we'll lower down. Again, make sure that your hips are not falling in towards the mat as you lift your lower leg. It's very tempting, we want to achieve more. We want to do more and lower that leg. Three more like that. Exhale, lifting, internally rotating, feeling that inner thigh really working, and lower it down. Two more. Exhale, internally rotating. Hand on the hip is actually a really good reminder to not fall forward. And last one, lifting up that right leg, internally rotate, and lower down. Nice work. Now we combine both actions, sending your right arm up and over again, sliding the hand underneath the ear, keeping the neck relaxed and passive. Inhale, our obliques are gonna have to work a lot here too. Exhale, and we lift our head up with our hand and internally rotate and lift that lower leg. Feel free to close your eyes too if that allows you to concentrate more. Exhale, lower everything down, landing at the same time. Inhale. And exhale, lift, 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 bringing both sides of the body together, both halves, I guess, and lower down. Two more on your next exhale, hollow out, lifting, lifting, lifting. Sorry for that pause, everyone. Our connection here isn't so great, lowering down. Last one, exhale. Lift, and lower down with control. Nice work. Let that arm relax away. Bring it out in front of you, stabilizing the waist. And then we'll do a clamshell series. So squeezing in your glutes, dropping that right hip down, lifting up that right knee, clamshell up towards the ceiling, and lower that right knee down. So we're still keeping that same piped position. Lift and lower, squeezing in the back of the glutes, and lower, really activating back here to start, to initiate the movement, and lower. We have eight more, lifting up, and lower, lifting up, and lower, and up, and lower. As you continue this, remembering your abdominal control, pulling the navel to spine, 
checking in on that little mouse hole underneath your left side waist, staying active through your upper body. I think we have four more. Three, two, and one. Lower that knee down, keeping the knees glued together, hips stacked, lift the lower legs up again. So now we're in internal rotation on that right side again. Same idea, clamshell, squeeze the right glute, lifting up and lower down, and lifting up and lower down. 10 more like this. Keep in mind that your left side glute is also having to work now as it stabilizes. So when we do the opposite side, your left glute might feel a little more tired than your right side did because it already kind of snuck in an extra workout. We have six and five and four, making sure that top waist is still lengthened. Three and two and one and lower. <clears throat> extending your legs out long, rolling onto your belly, sliding that left arm underneath by your side, planting your hands by your armpits, exhale, and let's go right into an upward dog, pressing into the palms, stretching out the front of the body, lengthening through the head and neck, and lower that down. Tucking the toes, pressing into the palms, we're going to activate all of our engines and press up into a plank, on one, inhale, exhale, press, and lift. Nice, readjusting your stance if you need to. We have two push-ups, bending the elbows back, and then extending. Just think of this as a plie of the elbows, a lowering of the sternum. Let's do one more, lower, and lift. Send those hips back, take a downward dog, treading through the feet. One heel lowers, then the opposite. Planting those heels down. Go ahead and walk your hands back towards your feet. Keep your feet wider than your inner hips, so you sort of hip distance apart from your outer hips. And then take an easy bend of the knees and roll up through your spine one vertebra at a time until you come to standing. Continuing with our internal rotation work, we're going to keep our heels where they are and then rotate in from the hip, bringing our feet in towards each other. So we're in this sort of pigeon toed stance. This is challenging to balance up here, so keep the knees soft. And then as long as you, this is comfortable in your body, we're going to take a roll down from here. So top of the head rolls forward. One vertebrae at a time, we're in this internally rotated place. You may begin to feel a hamstring stretch more intensely than you did before because likely these muscles are not ones that you stretch as much. Staying over the legs, hanging out. And then if you wish to add a little bit more intensity, maintaining the alignment of your knee over toes, which is now inwardly rotated, bend that left knee ever so slightly and lengthen through that right leg. You should feel a nice long stretch on the outside of your right hamstring. Pressing down, especially into that big toe metatarsal on the right foot. Planting, planting down. And extend that left leg. Take the opposite side. Right knee bends easily, relaxing the glutes and the quads on the left side. Left big toe plants down. Inhale. And exhale. And straighten through that right knee. Rotate your feet back to parallel and then shake out those knees a little bit. Walking your hands back out into a plank. Staying here and then one more downward dog. Extending up through the hips. Extend your left leg long behind you. Hips are parallel right away. Bringing the knee to nose and stepping in between your hands for an easy lunge. From here, keeping your upper body hung over between your legs, rotate those left toes inwards, walk through the center, rotate the right toes outwards, and you find yourself on a right side lunge. Pressing into your hands, framing your leg, hollow out the belly, activate the abs, and send that leg back into a plank. We have three more push-ups, lowering the elbows down, widening across the shoulders, and lifting back up. We're just taking a plie of the arms. All it is, 
is last one, lower and lift. Untuck the toes, lower the knees, and then find yourself into an upward dog. Lowering the whole body down, bending the elbows, scoop back till you're on your mat if you've slid off, and then extending your right arm over your head, turning onto your right side, bending your knees in to an easy 45 degree angle from the hips. We'll repeat everything we've done the other side. So head is sort of cradled on your right bicep. Hips are relaxed. Take your left hand up and over, slide it under your head, and go ahead and connect with that right ear if you can. If not, you can also be on top of your head. Just make sure that you're not behind it because the idea is that we're lifting straight on that lateral plane. Inhale here, wide into the ribs. And on your exhale, soften the head into the hand, lift the head up at a neck with that left arm. And lower it down. So head and neck should be completely passive. It should really feel kind of therapeutic. A little bit, um, I don't know, it makes me feel a little bit sleepy. Exhale, lifting up, but that's okay. As long as I remember to activate the rest of my muscles. And lower it down. Three more like that on your next exhale. <sighs> Lifting the head off the arm. Again, you might feel a stretch in the neck. Added bonus. And lower down. Two more. Exhale. Lift. Feel free to close your eyes during this especially if it allows you to concentrate more on relaxing. Sometimes, last one, it's hard to keep our muscles relaxed when we're taking in a lot of visual stimulus. We may not even notice the tension that creeps in and lower it down. Now releasing your hand for a moment, taking our inward rotation on that left side. As you're drawing up and in, you can inhale, and on your exhale, rotating that left knee in, lifting the lower leg up towards the ceiling. Again, prioritizing the stacking of those hips, lower down. Exhale, lifting up, internally rotating, noticing the difference in both sides. My left leg is considerably more comfortable with internal rotation, lifting up. And lower down. Two more. And lowering down. Last one, lifting up. And lowering down. Now we add the whole exercise together, sending that left arm up and over the head, sliding it underneath, grabbing onto that right ear, elbows pointing relatively up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, head and leg lift towards each other. Contracting in that left waist, lower down, inhale. Exhale, lift, head is heavy. And lower. Nice work, lift, it's challenging to maintain relaxation and activation simultaneously within the body. And lower, let's do two more, exhale, lift. Last one, I felt my hips rolling in that time. Add that down. And lower. Release that left arm. Keep your legs where they are. Re-engage that side waist. Left hand comes down in front of you for support and clamshells. Squeezing in that left glute, lifting that knee up towards the ceiling. Lower down. Hips are stable. Lift. And lower. We have 10 more like this. If you want to bring your hand onto your hip, just to give you a little extra reminder to keep those hips stacked, that is absolutely fine option. Eight. Noticing if this side is more fatigued because of the support that it had to do on the opposite side. And noticing if it's not. Those are all fine options. Five. Four. Making sure that your head and neck are lengthened. Easy to let them fall and drop. Three. Two, and one, lower the knee, keep the knees squeezed together, lift the lower legs, internally rotate on that left side, lifting up, and 
and low and up. Keep dropping that left hip down. Lift and lift and low and lift and lower. Really isolating those glutes. And low and low. abs should really be burning right now in this if you're really activating them squeezing that left right sideways off the mat for four and three and two and one in lower down rolling over onto your stomach one more time taking an upward dog at your own pace squeezing your elbows back lifting up from the chest and lowering down. Last time to plank, tucking your toes, lengthening, squeezing the glutes, all engines fire, inhale, elbows in, exhale, press up. Nice, powerful. Setting your hips back into downward dog, pressing into the palms, treading through the feet, lengthening that right heel, and then step your foot in between your hands. You're gonna have an expedited hamstring workout as we're running out of time. So coming into your lunge, reaching your arms up and over your head. We're just gonna take three in each series. Pitching your weight forward, testing that, and then kicking off that left leg and coming onto that right foot, knee is bent. And with control, coming back to your lunge. Two more, abs are up and in, lengthening through the waist, testing that balance, keeping the leg bent, and landing softly into that lunge. Last one, pitching forward. Reach through your hands, through your head, through your neck, and landing. On our next one, we're gonna stay in our balance, pitching forward, and then carefully reach your arms out to the side wide. Lengthen through your leg. And now we bend and straighten. Inhale as you lower arms, find the center of your body, and exhale, ballooning up through your back. Inhale to lower, and exhale to lift. As you lower, see if you can soften all of the joints of that leg, hip, knee, ankle, and lift. Oh dear, and falling back into your lunge carefully, not the way that I just did it. Lengthen through that right leg. <clears throat> Bring your hands down towards the mat, framing that straightened leg, and then hop that left leg in a few inches so that you can plant both feet down firmly on the ground. From here, flex through that right foot, and you probably guessed it, rotate from the hip, bring that foot down into a pigeon stance, inwardly rotating that right leg, and then drive that right hip back. You may already feel an intense stretch on the outside of that right hamstring. You can stay here, breathing. Again, as you do this to increase the stretch, Think of driving that left big toe metatarsal into the mat. If you want more of a stretch, continuing to send that right hip back, you can walk over to the side with your hands a little bit. One more inhale. And exhale. Hands come back to center. Flex that foot and bring it back to parallel. Bending the right knee slightly, sending that left leg back into a lunge, coming up through warrior one, rotating that left foot out, warrior two, trying not to fall back. Lengthen through the right leg, rotate that right foot in, hands onto the hips, and bend, fold forward in between your legs. Interlace your hands behind your back, lengthen through the arms, and then let the shoulders open and your hands fall down towards your head. From this position, nod your head yes, and no, and one more time, yes, and no. Pressing into your palms, reaching your hands back towards your bum, and then arcing up to the top of your head. Rotating your left heel in, left toes out, find yourself in warrior two. Maybe there's a rush of blood to your head if you came up too fast. And then coming back into a lunge. You might need to step that right foot in a little bit if your warrior two is really large. And we'll repeat this hamstring work. So shifting forward over that left leg and then kicking off of that right side, coming into a bent leg, hover, and floating back. 
two more. Pitching forward, picking off, and floating back. Last one, pitching forward, right leg comes off the ground, and falling back. On our next one, we'll stay and widen our arms, balancing for an airplane. Arms off to the side, one long line of the body, extend the leg, now we lower and lift. Inhaling, softening through the joints as you lower, hands find the middle, and exhale, widening, expanding through the chest. Toes are pointing down as best as you can. Inhale, lower. Soften the belly, the organs against the thigh, and exhale, lift. One more, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And bend the knees slightly, falling back into your lunge. Arms up overhead, lengthen through that left leg. And fall forward, framing your left leg through your hands. Slight bend that left knee as you walk your right foot in so that both legs can be firmly planted on the ground, both feet. And then flex that left foot, rotate inward from the hip, turning those toes in, lower the toes down, plant that big toe metatarsal on the left side, and then pull your left hip back. Stretching here, inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. And for our last breath, if you want to increase the stretch by walking your hands over to that left side, try not to worry about what it looks like, but just finding a nice stretch. Inhale, and exhale. Walking your hands back to center, Turning the foot back into parallel, soft bend of the left knee. Send your right leg back a little bit further, coming up into that warrior, or that high lunge rather. And then opening up into warrior two. Feel those quads burning a little bit. Turning your left toes in as you straighten both legs. And then one more forward, forward fold. Actually, I'm sorry, let's not do that because I want to, have to get a little bit of rotation before we do this. Turning in your left foot and then your right foot. Sorry, your heels. Your heels are turning in. Now we're in a wide second. Arms by your side. We just take a few plies. Like nothing, just letting your knees widen away from each other. And lifting back up, pressing into the feet. And begin. Find your arms and tree. And send up the legs. Two more. Deep plie. Feel free to shift from side to side. Widen your hips and lift. Last one, plie. And lift. Turning your feet back into parallel, sort of heel toe until you come up to stand. Feet underneath your hips. One roll down to end. You'll be feeling your arms hanging off of your shoulders. Inhale wide. Feel free to close your eyes. Exhale, chin to chest. One vertebrae at a time, really taking your time for this roll down, checking in on your quads, are they relaxed? Your glutes, are they relaxed? Heavy, 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 heavy. Feel free to cross your arms, hanging on to opposite elbows. Again, nodding the head, yes. And no. And letting that go, Undoing your hands, soft bend of the knees, over the toes, keeping your belly loose, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Arms are heavy. You can tear all the way to standing. Lifting your shoulders up towards your ears, and then letting them fall. One more time like that. Inhale up towards your ears, and exhale, fall. Nice. Great class, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Stay tuned for more classes next week and have a wonderful weekend in the meantime. Till soon.